Today on Design, Build, and Fix, we ask the question, is the free version of SketchUp worth learning and what can you do with it? And remember, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So, let's jump right into the video. All right, so for about 20 to 25 years, I've been doing and have been using many different drawing softwares. Uh, we started out using AutoCAD. That's just a two-dimensional drawing program. And then we moved into a three-dimensional drawing program called SolidWorks. And I do have to say that if you can use SolidWorks, that's gonna be a good way to go. But SolidWorks is really designed as a program that's used for designing parts and pieces. It's not designed for drawing whole uh, devices and things like that. It can because you can assemble things together, uh, but SolidWorks is more of a professional industrial grade drawing program that I've used for probably about 15 years now. Then we moved on to, uh, for the house drawing stuff, we started with AutoCAD to draw and design houses. And then I moved into SoftPlan, which is a three-dimensional drawing program, which is really a, a good program also. But I've come to find over the years that if I really just wanna take a design and see what it looks like after I've drawn it on either a piece of paper or I've drawn it in AutoCAD, and I wanna see what that looks like in 3D. I have to truly believe that SketchUp is, is relatively the easiest program to learn, and it gives you a pretty good product in a very, very short period of time. Many industry uh, people who design houses, who design stuff, uh, use SketchUp to render a drawing and just do it as a very quick way to present, uh, present it to somebody who's possibly gonna purchase that product or you're designing something for them. And so SketchUp is a really good program considering if you get the SketchUp version online, it's free. And if you go on to buying SketchUp Pro, uh, it's a little bit more expensive. You can get it for $55 a year if you're a student or a teacher. And then if you actually just wanna use it as a private individual, uh, it's going to be $299 a year and uh, gets a little pricey at that point. And the differences between the SketchUp Pro and the SketchUp is relatively small. And I'll show you some of those differences here coming right up. Okay, so one of the pluses of using SketchUp is that you get to actually see it in three dimensions. Now this is actually AutoCAD 2021. And this is a design that I did for a shuttle bus. And one of the things that you, a lot of people have issues with is if they can't see what it looks like in 3D from a two-dimensional drawing program, you have the ability in SketchUp to draw that for you. So uh, if you're taking a look at it, this, this is the left side of the bus, and this is going to be the right side of the bus. This is a top view, and in AutoCAD you can get this done, but you really can't see it in 3D. So let's go ahead and show you what this thing's going to look like if you're looking at it in 3D. All right, so here we go. This is the three-dimensional version of it, and this is drawn in SketchUp Pro, um, but you can do it very, very easily in SketchUp, and we'll show you that here shortly. And the good thing about what you can do here is that in SketchUp, you can actually see what it looks like in three dimensions. If you want to see what it looks like from underneath, you can see where you're going to put your black tank and your gray tank and your freshwater tanks on a shuttle bus, um, and you can actually take people in through a walkthrough. You can walk through with this and see that a uh, nice little close up here of the uh, the seating area and another seating area. And then you can zoom around to the other side, take a look at it, and zoom in close, see what the toilet looks like, and then the bathroom area, and so on. All right, so I'm a big fan of the SketchUp uh, as far as uh, the pro version and the free version. So let's go ahead and share with that. Uh, uh, free version is actually going to look like. All right, so what I did here a while back is a person came to me and wanted me to design and build a set of library cabinets for their house. And I drew it all in SolidWorks. I'm sorry, I drew it all in AutoCAD. And then I went through uh, and drew it in SketchUp because he could not see what it looked like in 3D. And so I drew this in SketchUp. And if you come in and zoom in, you can actually see the amount of detail that you can actually get out of SketchUp. It's relatively, uh, it's relatively good. Um, you have the fluted columns. You can see that in there. The crown molding underneath here by the fireplace. Uh, as soon as I drew this for him in three dimensions, 
uh, he basically says, yep, this is what I want. And it came out beautiful. We did it in Sapili, and, uh, which is an African mahogany. It came out absolutely gorgeous. All right, so now what we're going to do is show you the free version, which is uh, something I'm a big fan of. And uh, that shuttle bus I just showed you, I also drew it in the free version of SketchUp. And as you can see here, there's an entry cabinet. Uh, let's take a look at the entry cabinet here and show you. This is another project that I'm going to do here shortly, but it allows you to see what it looks like. Is the tile actually how I want it with the border and uh, have an inlay in it? And then uh, the cabinet itself. Now I do have to say one of the, the downfalls of the free version of SketchUp is that when you do stuff with curves and things like this, you can see it. For some reason, it's uh, giving me these dotted lines, and I haven't quite figured out why it's doing that. All right, so it does have a little bit of a limitation, but that's pretty much the only one that I've noticed. Uh, let's go back to our home, and uh, let's take a look at this one here. And so I do design and build homes, and one of the things that uh, uh, I tend to do is that when somebody comes to me and wants me to design something, I'll throw it on SketchUp relatively quickly and uh, see what it actually looks like. Now the good thing about SketchUp is that you can uh, put layers on here and if I want to turn the roof off, uh, we can actually take the roof off and show you what this house looks like from the inside. And we can, uh, you know, if we want to see what the house looks like without the porch, you can take the porch off and you can put things back on and uh, we can get rid of the basement walls if you wanted to see it more as if it was looking sitting on the ground. And another big plus of SketchUp is that you have the ability to mention stuff. So if you were to do a cabinet in something and you wanted to use it as a production drawing, you could. And then uh, for a house, you can actually so, show the client exactly uh, um, how big certain things are. So let's go back and see if there's another one that I can show you. Yeah, so basically I'm a big, big fan of SketchUp knowing that there's a lot of th potentials that you can do with it and it does have the ability to put roofing colors on it and siding colors on it and things like that so one of the things i want to make sure that i share with you is that i am going to um, show in a in my next series of videos is the design process and how to actually learn how to use sketchup and uh, once you learn how to use sketchup you can design a house and i'm going to show a series on how to actually uh, design or build this house in SketchUp with the reverse gables and the hip roofs and things like that. And we're also going to show you how to design a bus, an RV or shuttle bus using SketchUp. So make sure you stick with me. Hope to see you on the next one. All right. Thanks for watching. Just as a reminder, we are going to show you how to actually use SketchUp the program. Everything we do is going to be application based. So once you know how to use the software, you can literally design anything you want. And that's going to be the next series of videos that I'm going to show you is how to use SketchUp. After that, we're going to show you how to design a house in SketchUp and how to do a van, RV, or shuttle bus in SketchUp. So if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't miss these videos coming right up. All right. Hope to see you on the next one.